so yeah our beloved davido has been under a lot of heat lately because of this video you see on the screen by his artist logos olori so the singer took to his instagram page to promote this video you know uh so that people can see the work that his artists had done but this didn't go down well with the islamic group of nigeria they felt that this video was blasphemy this video you could see some uh, men in front of a mox and um, praying initially on the prayer mat and then they started dancing so they felt it was blasphemous towards their religion and they were disappointed that why would davido do such a thing and they started to demand for apology they went on twitter and everywhere they were cancelling his picture up and down leaving threats here and there saying if he doesn't come out to make like an apology to them um he should forget about ever stepping his foot to the north because they will be waiting for him like they will share him <laughs> shake a bad side they will deal with him if he decides to show up again in the north so the video finally has released a statement of apology apologizing for the video and disassociating himself from it that he wasn't even aware you know the video was sent to him he didn't even look at it he just posted it to support his artist so people should forgive him which of course i'm sure this should be the end of this i beg because a lot of celebrities disappointed me like instead of them to try and see how to make the matter go away they went ahead to be posting um uh, pictures of him cancelled and saying certain things like that but thankfully it's over now and um yeah we move on so moving on to baby mama baby mama anita brown hmm. it seems like when people are beginning to forget about her like she must do something to remind us that i'm still here oh, i'm still here i'm still here chasing my clouds you know so um let me let you listen to the video and I will come back and continue talking and to like, you And like what really kills me is this this married man narrative that y'all are dragging like, oh, I'm done with the married man. Cut it out. No, I did not know he was married on God. Did not know. Like, go to his page. Does it look like he's married? Like, I'm confused. Like, you know, rest in peace to the child. Like, people knew about the baby, but nobody knew he got married. I'm in America. Nobody here knew. Sorry. Sorry, nobody knew. Nobody knows. It's not on a blog. It's not a big thing. If a, a man ain't telling me, then I don't know. And I, I wasn't checking for it because I'm not looking to get married. I'm not, I'm not looking for that right now. So that, that wasn't something that I was in search for. I wasn't digging up anything like that. So no, I didn't know. I actually found out after the fact. And then I found out after the fact that I'm actually pregnant. So y'all are way off like cut it out like never maybe a fornicator never an adulterer calm down so you have had her she's claiming that she had no idea that the singer was married she met him and started dating this is giving me love and hip-hop love and hip-hop hollywood what they call that show you know where you will see one guy about five different girls will be fighting over him they will all be baby mamas will be, if he gives birth to a child with this one next year he moves on to the next so probably that's what she's thinking this is about you know babe this is nigeria now she didn't just stop deal hmm she went ahead to directly now challenge Choma. I can understand, like, ah, you are the side chick, and this guy might have been hyping you up, telling you a lot of things. She was already imagining herself to be Mrs. Adeliki, only for her to now find out that ah, there's another person. Ah, ah, not just there's another person, he's even married. And I don't believe, like, she would claim that she doesn't know Choma, like, ah, ah. Were you living under a rock you know and the only thing she could think of doing you know that anger of somebody being in a position that you want to be and the guy is not even claiming you at all he's not even showcasing you at all he's denying your existence denying everything like so she just had to do something right so she decided to go after choma and guys let me let you listen to her the money flows honey and it's oil and honey boo get your motherfucking shit together and we don't give a fuck niggas like bodies when when you here and you in this country you get some work done so niggas can respect you i don't know about africa bitch i'm in a motherfucking america bitch that's what we do and chioma got her body done her body job is just trash let's be clear chioma got her body done but her body job is trash like let's let's really talk about it 
Let's really talk about it. Her body job is trash. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I get my shit done up. You gotta get out of the pool. Let's go. I get it done up. I do my job. That's what I do. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm not even with a a billionaire family, and I got a good body job. I'm sorry. If I had a billion dollars, I'm sure I'd have a of a lit body job. See, see, I'm free and I'm happy. I'm not. I'm not locked up in a fucking cage in Africa, just popping out babies for a fucking dowry and a couple of coins while. I'm so disappointed in this video. Like, how can you say you you are doing your body so that niggas can respect you? She doesn't need to, sis. She's in his house. Like, she's married to him. Body or no body, she's married to him. This is a narrative that I'm so obsessed with. Like, why are people creating this narrative that you have to go and look artificial? Like, look at her. Eh? Look at her. Let me pull up some videos and pictures so you guys can see. Just look at her. Look at this video where she's dancing. Compare this body to that of Choma. Choma that she's insulting. Choma's body is proportionate. Like the leg balance the hips. The hips balance the nyash. The nyash balance the waist. The waist balance the bobby. Like everything is balanced. Not like you where you see tinting legs and be big, extremely big bum bum. Like that's, that is the BBL, BBL bum bum, BBL body. And she just made us understand that she had no other value to give to the guy. There was nothing else the guy saw in her except her body. So meaning prior to you doing your body, you were a nobody. You were unvaluable. Like nobody saw any form of good or value in you. It was until you looked look this artificial that you feel a guy would respect you. That is extremely sad okay i know it's it's your pain because you've already seen yourself on the throne of the adelike family but only for you to be disappointed that um choma is his wife well i blame the video in all of this so because ah, after all if he did not approach her she will not have time to be telling choma all this nonsense you know and the video take your time self to select now Eh? If she said it was af uh, after you were, it was because of her body you were with her. I mean, Choma is hundred times way more beautiful than this lady, hands down. Like even on uh, her from face to her feet. Like ah, ah. Choma is a babe, and Choma has the body. Yari 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 yari. Do you understand? So it's just so disappointing. But I like what Choma is doing. You know, as the old saying goes, silence is the best answer to a fool. So that's what Choma is doing. Choma is like killing them with silence, being very matured about the whole situation. I heard that she's actually expecting a baby. If this is true, congratulations to you in advance. I even saw a video where Anita came out later to apologize that, oh, she didn't know Choma was pregnant and she just said Choma was pregnant. She would never want to do that to a woman that is pregnant. She's sorry. She wish her all the best. She doesn't have anything against her, but you just said trash. You know, you just said trash. Like, you're looking really stupid. If I was your friend or your manager or something, I would tell you, please, just leave the public eye focus on your focus forget about your mouth forget about the video many have come and go and many will still come and go and trauma will still remain though it's her choice it's her choice it's her choice it's up to her so what do you guys say?